Hello universe, I'm Des- <laughs> She make it look easy, with her head held high She look to the sky, true most I believe her, y'all Not accepting a lie, she see through the skies No need to deceive her, nah Her presence is healing, one look in her eyes She'll take away your fever, wow Hello universe, I'm Destiny, aka Divine Luna, and in this community we're here to glow, grow, and share our life experiences. So if that interests you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I wanted to discuss the differences between minerals, rocks, crystals, and gems. Sometimes people use those terms interchangeably, but they're actually four completely different categories. First, let's talk about minerals. A mineral must be a solid and must have a crystalline structure, which is a repeating pattern of atoms extending in three spatial directions. The process of forming a crystalline structure or a crystal is called crystallization. However, not all minerals form crystals large enough to be visible to our human eyes. Which means that while all crystals are minerals, not all minerals are crystals. Examples of minerals that do not have a visible crystalline structure are malachite, hematite, and carnelian. Now let's talk about rocks. Rocks are generally formed from grains of multiple minerals fused together into a solid mass. Rocks may contain organic material, which true minerals cannot. For example, shungite is a rock made from ancient vegetation. There are actually three rock classifications, if you remember in school. Igneous rock, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. An example of an igneous rock is granite or obsidian. Sedimentary rock, are limestone and shale and metamorphic rocks are quartz, kyanite, and garnet. Now there's crystals. Crystals generally refer to minerals with a visible crystallized form. This means that they show a faceted, symmetrical, three-dimensional, geometric form. The following seven Brave lattice systems, named after Auguste Brave, form the basic structure of all crystals. There is isometric, tetragonal, orthorhombic, hexagonal, trigonal, monoclinic, and triclinic. And then there is an amorphous lattice in which the crystal holds no particular shape or distinguishable form. An opal is an example of an amorphous lattice. There's a lot of science that goes behind crystals, but that's just a brief summary. So next there is gems. Gemstones are minerals or rocks strong enough to be cut and polished for jewelry. A gemstone is a cut and polished mineral, crystal, or other valuable material such as amber or pearl. You see a lot of gemstones in jewelry such as rubies, emeralds, sapphires, diamonds, and topaz. Moonstone and lapidorite are also gemstones. And then let me throw in stones. Stones is a non-technical term commonly used in the mineral world to refer to small specimens whose rough edges have been mechanically polished away. <laughs> <laughs> so these are tumble stones or polished So these are tumble So these are tumbled stones or polished stones. So those are a few terms that are used <laughs> So those are So those are a few things to describe the beautiful and unique things that come straight from this magnificent earth. These things form mountains glitters and jewelry and even regulates the timing of our watches and the electrical pulses in our computers. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Before I end this video, if you don't know already, me and my fiance have these beautiful treasures on our website in the form of jewelry. Our company goes by the name of Alchemaic. That is A-L-C-H-E-M-A-E-C. -E -E this stands for Alchemy, Affirmative Energy Creations. We are mental alchemists who utilize positive affirmative energy to generate magical creations that can be used to aid you in the grounding and uplifting process of your inner self in order to transform your outer world. FYI, we don't just make crystals, we make t-shirts too. We create each item in a peaceful and calm environment and empower each piece with the intention to amplify the properties needed by each customer. I'll be creating some vlogs of our crystal wrapping and our t-shirt process soon. So if that interests you, don't forget to subscribe and put your notifications on for future videos. If you'd like to check out any of our creations, you can find us on all platforms at Alchemaic and on alchemaic.com. The link will be in the description below. 
Like I always say, everything happens for a reason, so if this video got to you, you were meant to hear it 100%. So thank you for tuning in to the frequency of this video. Take this information, share this information, like, comment, let me know if you knew they were completely different terms, because I didn't know until last year, so it is completely understandable. But subscribe for future content, peace, love, and universal blessings. No time to play, queen. Nah, forget what they said, queen. Yeah, I'm the dollar today, queen. Wow.